这一飞，我是豆豆。我们现在呢就在霸王岭的这个热带雨林中了。站、嗯、在我们身边呢，呃，这位朋友呢是咱们的陈师傅，在这里已经工作了将近四十年的时间。And this gentleman, Mr. Chen, is already past sixty year old, and actually he had visited every corner of this rainforest. And today he will take us to a tour to find out the trace of the. Black crusty gibbons. Good morning, everyone. So today we are having a special coverage, the Go Highland, and today we are at the Ba Wang Ling National Nature Reserve, and also we have an inspector here, Miss Lan, and she will take us to this nature reserve. So what we have in this national nature reserve, we have the Highland Black Crested Ribbon. It is actually a rare animal in the world, and for the whole world, it has only 33 gibbons, and we will find them in this national nature reserve in Ba Wang Ling. And actually, today we have two teams to trace the black crested ribbon gibbons. So we are at the mountain, and for the other team, they will start from the foot of the mountain to find out the trace of the gibbons. So actually, when we are working in the mountains, or we should not hold our hands. You have to hold your arms, so that will be more safe, especially if you are working on this steep mountain path. So please remember, do not hold the hands. You have to hold the other's arm, so this will be more safe. So we have to learn how to survive in outdoors. So you could see there are many branches of this tree. A tree for these gibbons, they could use this to swing. I think this one is this part is very. Moisture. This is the cirrus, and actually, you can drink the water from this cirrus. So probably you have to cut parts of the cirrus. All right, I could see some waters dripping from the cirrus. So if we are trapped in the jungle, so that is a very easy way for you to find out the source of the water. So actually, if you are stuck in a forest or a jungle, you could find food and water in those places. So I'm trying to play on this swing. Just hold on to the series. I'm not sure whether I could get down from this series. So you need to have the strength in your arm so that you could hold on to the swing. We're just feeling that we are apes. Trying to play on this swing. I'm trying to be the ape and then to play on the swing.
it's quite funny. So I'll give you a demonstration. You have to step backwards, and then you could have a very big swing. So from the sewers, you can see if you stretch it, then you may get some water from the sewers. So actually I could taste from the water some of the flavor of the trees, the trunk. It's just pure water. So sometimes if you are living in the outdoors and from the palm trees, actually you could get some nutrition from those water. Mr. Chen is leading us in the rainforest. So you have to find a path to move forward. Because you could see this area is quite moisture and there are many plants here. So actually inside of the forest, the coverage rate is above 90%. So it's full of oxygen. Very good air. And also, if you look at the negative oxygen iron, it's approximately 200 times more than that of in the city. So it's full of oxygen in the forest. So when we are passing the rainforest, we could see there were some thorns inside of the plants. How you do with that? So if you are stuck by the thorn, you have to remove it first. However, if your skin was scratched or stabbed by some parts of the stone or the plants, then you have to take care of your wound. So for example, we will bring some salty water with us for the disinfection of your wound. And also we could take some of the swipes. Of course you will bring some water first, you have to wash your cuts, your wounds to make sure that you will not get further infection. And of course you can bring some medications, drugs, make sure that the wounds can be protected. If it's just a small cut, you could just use the disinfectant to swipe over your wound. So for this kind of plants, it could help you to take care of your wound. So this is part of the herbal plant. So for some of the herbal plants, they could help you to cure your wound. But first, you have to clean your cuts and the wound. And we could find all these kinds of herbal plants in the forest. For example, for this one, you could just take one leaf of it and you smash it. I would like to have a try. So actually you can chew it. So you have to mash this leaf and then you put it in your cuts and it will help to heal the wound. Because sometimes if you are going through the rainforest 
it is inevitable that you may get hurt from the plants. I would say this is quite magical. In the jungle and in the rainforest, there were thousands of plants and hundreds of animals. So actually in this nature reserve, we have 365 animals and also two, over 2,000 insects. So they are abundant species inside of the nature reserve. But unfortunately, we are not able to do the live coverage in the evening. But in the evening, we have, we are able to find more species in the evening because they tend to come out in the evening hours. This is another tree, another plant. You see, it is very large in size. It is also a kind of cirrus. So you could see this kind of cirrus is surrounding a tree. So it has the length over 20 meters. So probably in the rainforest, this kind of cirrus we're trying to gain some nutrition from the tree. They're trying to get the best biological resources from the forest. So I can tell all of these plants are very clever. They're trying to get the most of the sunlight. So if you see the cirrus is surrounding a tree, what would you do? So for this one, you could see there were so many cirrus around by the tree. I think this is not a good situation. We may have to remove uh, some of the cirrus. So maybe later we can collect some of the cirrus and make it a tree, uh, a chair. If you want to make a chair, we have to consider the shape of the chair. So probably we would like to make a sparrow chair. So first we have to find out three branch. First we have to cut off some branches. So for some of the trees, you're not going to get grow bigger, so we are able to cut off some of the branches to make the chair. So we are going on to the field, we are not going to damage some of the natural resources. So for example, this tree is suitable, so we are able to cut off some of the branch. So we do not need a very long branch. All right, we are trying to cut off some of the branch. So as we are in the field, we do not have to pay attention to the details. So now we are trying to make a stool. So today I'm not bringing with my knife and I don't know how to use this one. So maybe all of us have to cooperate to make this stool. So maybe we can also cut off some of the cirrus to make the stool and try to fix all of those branches. So we are trying to make a triangle and then to fill some of those branches to make it a stool. We want to find some very thin cirrus to make this stool. So maybe Mr. Chen can help us. So after we find out all of the cirrus, we have to make a twist. So for example, this one is not good. It is not elastic. 
So maybe we should just like take these three branches. Let's see if we could find the suitable series to make the stool. So what about this one? Well, this one is not big enough. We have to get some of the branches from the bush. Let me try this one. So we have to um, twist all of the series to see whether they are elastic enough. So we have to work together to make this tool. Probably we need a lot of these series. So right now we are preparing the stool and Mr. Chen is helping us to cut off the branch with his sickle. So we have to have like three pieces of branch with the same length. Still a bit longer, we have to make it shorter. So previously I would like to use a knife to cut off all of these branches because that would be more convenient. But today we only have a sickle available. We need to create some of the um, buckles so that these three bunches can tie it with each other. But for this kind of sickle, I think Mr. Chen is well is well trained to use this kind of sickle. So you have to consider your personal habits. And also I heard some people would like to use axe, but some of the axe are very expensive. Just for a very small one, it costs you about 5,000 RMB. And for this kind of sickle, it's just a few bucks. As Mr. Chen has been working in this field for a very long time, so I believe he's very familiar with this place. So that's why today, if we want to find out the trace of the black crested gibbons, we need the help with Mr. Chen. So actually, this is the most fashionable outdoor stool. You could use this kind of stool in all seasons. So now you could see we are trying to cut off some of the slots. If you have those slots, all these branches can tie with each other. Alright, so now you can see we can put uh, these uh, three branches together. We are trying to fix these three branches and we need to find out more series to tie up this stool. So we are trying to make this do on the rock. 
So first I would like to fix all of these three branches and then you could use the serious to tie up these branches. First we have to find a very plat, uh, flat surface. I will hold on to all of these branches and you now it's your job to tie up this series. So Mr. Chen is trying to tie the knot with the series and then we just tied it up, this stool. So this is a very traditional way to make a stool. This is very practical to tie the knot. So actually in different places, you have your own way to tie up a knot. I think this is very easy and quite practical. So especially if we are out on the field, we need to find the most convenient way to tie up the knot. So if you are visiting the field, you could use anything to tie up a knot. So this time we are in a rainforest, so that's why we are trying that with the series. You have to try it. Maybe sometimes you could even use the bamboo to make the stool. So probably you have to be out on the field and try it yourself. This is more creative. I, be Mr. I believe Mr. Chen is very expertise in tidying up the knot. So you just have to join all of these series around the branch and then you tie a knot and then repeat the process for many times. So probably we tend to find out thin series to tie up the knot. So for this one, I think it's too thick. But if as we are in the field, we are in the forest, we need to make the best use of all we have. Maybe on the other side, we have to make a straight to tight. As we are in the nature, we can find all these available series. So you need to be very patient to make the stool. Alright, we have to twine it for many times. Now I understand when you always emphasize we need to use the thin series. As we also, if we say, if we want to have a balance, we need to have the structure of a triangle. All right, we have to continue to twist all of those series around the branch. All right, we need to find more series. Just like you two go hunting, I will stay here and try to fix the branch. 
I think this one is suitable. We have to make sure whether the series is tough enough so it will not break down. Uh, first of all, I will remove the leaves. Right, I think we have enough cereals. Could find there were some mosquitoes in the rainforest, so we have to protect ourselves. That is the top priority if we try to survive in the field. So we will take some medicines. For example, we could get some like some block. And also you could make some of the local medication to protect yourself from the mosquito. Well this one, this piece of the serous is excellent. So we still need the help from Mr. Chen. Probably we have to stretch the series. I think this is quite interesting when we are trying to try the series. So is it possible that we could see the black crested gibbons? Let's see. So first we have to find out some of the traits of the gibbons. So Mr. Chen, how many times have you seen the black crested gibbons? I think for the male gibbons and the female gibbons, they have different colors on their hair. And for the male, they have like black hair and also for the female gibbons, they have some golden color on their hair. And if we look at the chest, I think there may be a big difference as compared for the male gibbons and the female gibbons. And actually in the southern part of China, we also see some of the big gibbons with the um, white face. And I believe for the black crusty gibbons, it is one of the rare animals in the world. And we can only find these high nuns black crusty gibbons in Ba Wangling Nature Reserve. And actually back in September 2019, we had a new baby of the black crusty gibbons. I think it is still very young. Will these female gibbons protect their babies? Well, actually, right at the beginning, we only have 29 gibbons, and right now they have 33 gibbons. And I heard that for each one of the male gibbons, they will have two female gibbons. But 
this information is not verified, we would need to ask Mr. Chen for his advice. I think we are about to complete this stool. Well, actually, we have a um, spring line product. The fashionable stool that we have made in this National Nature Reserve in Ba Wangling. This is actually a gift from Hainan. Let's see if someone would like to buy this kind of stool. All right, we would like to have a try. I will try to sit on this stool. Very comfortable. I think if especially if you are on a field, this kind of stool will be enough. So first we need to find a flat service. While this is the latest product we have launched in spring, the stool for field survival. I think if I sit on the stool, it's quite stable, it's very comfortable. I think for this kind of series, it's very tough and elastic. Well, we would like to show this stool to Mr. Chen. All right, we would like to invite Mr. Chen to check. Excellent, we have successfully made such a stool. All right, let's continue to find out the trace of the black crusty gibbons. So for this too, maybe we can uh, send it to some of the viewers. All right, we just leave it here. So maybe in the future, you're trying to discover the field. You will try to make this kind of stool. So maybe in the future, you could even try to make a bed in the field. All right, I'm not sure if you can jump over the stones, the rocks. Maybe you could have a detour. All right, maybe we could change our path. So we have to be careful. Maybe we could follow this path to enter into the forest. Right, and we will continue our tour to trace the black crested gibbons. See, the river gets narrow, and now we are about to enter into the rainforest. Be careful. It's quite narrow in the path. We have to be very careful. So I think this tree is being cut off. So this is actually a single plank bridge. So we have so many plants here, so maybe we do not have sufficient sunlight for this forest. We have many trees inside of the reserve. I believe uh, once we enter into those areas, 
it is possible that we can find out the black crusty gibbons. So we will see some snakes. Yes, but in winter, it is unlikely that you will see some of the snakes. So even though Hainan is quite warm, and uh, we are not able to see some of the snake. And for the snakes, they will actually um, rest for the winter. They will have a winter sleep for around three months. So as we stand inside of the forest, uh, I, I can feel we are getting closer to the gibbons. So maybe we should find some of the fruits. Uh, it is easier that we can trace the gibbons. And for these gibbons, they would love to taste the broad leaves. And uh, sometimes they would like to eat the lychee. And in autumn, they would like to eat some of the bamboos. And in winter, they would like to eat the fruits and the leaves. So maybe we could just uh, follow the trees to see if we can trace the black crested gibbons. So what kind of fruits they are going to eat? So probably they will eat some of the fruit from the banyan. So first we have to um, find out the trees. So let's see if we could find the um, leaves first or if we can find the fruits first. Here we found some of the wild banana. And if these bananas are getting like mature enough and then it is possible we could find some of the gibbons. We think that these banana trees are not mature enough, so that's why we could not see some of the gibbons here. So this is the uh, Chinese banana. We already see some of the buds of the trees and soon, in a couple of months, we're able to see some of the Chinese bananas. But right now, as we don't have the fruits, so of course we cannot have those gibbons coming here. And in spring, actually some of the gibbons, they would like to taste the honey but that is in springtime. So what is this? That is the um, bamboo shoot. Will they eat this? They will, but you could see all of these are falling on the ground. So they will not have these bamboo shoot on the ground. They will like to eat in a tree. So these are the bamboo forest. So they will not eat all of those food on the ground. They have to stay on the tree. So we are just seeing some of the shells of the bamboo shoots. So we are just um, talking about uh, we have a lucky draw because um, right now we have not yet found any food for the gibbons. Uh, we will continue to see if we can find some of the fruits of the banyan or if we could see some of the tender leaf. So what is that? Let's get closer to see. What is it? Once again, one last chance, leave a comment. So now we have found something. What did we find? 
Is it the fruit of the banyan or the tender leaf? So what is that? How can we get that? So are we able to climb up on the tree? I think it's not an easy task. So probably we need to find a stick. Let's see if we could have some of the bamboos or if we could find some of the sticks to try and to get the fruit of the banyan. Well, but we do not have a knife or a sickle here. All right, so I, I think I'm able to find the stick. This is actually a bamboo pole. I'm not sure if I can use it to get the fruit. So I would like to have a try to see if I can get the fruit. So actually this is the fruit for the black plastic gibbons. So this is one of the uh, favorite food for the gibbons. I think for this kind of fruit, it's not mature enough. So this is the uh, fruit of the ficus. And this is the fruit from the ficus. So after it gets mature, so it will get as big as your fist. So, how does it taste? So right now it is not mature. After it gets mature, it will turn into red. It looks like a fig, but it is not a fig. It is actually the fruit from the ficus tree. So this one is very small. It smells like leaf. It has very pungent smell. Take a look at this. It's very beautiful inside of this fruit. So I would like to try out to find the seed of the fruit of the ficus. So actually it tastes very sweet. It's a little bit sticky inside of this ficus. Well, this is the fruit of the ficus. And also you could see there is some mucus inside of the fruit. Can you see it? It smells sour, but if this one gets mature, probably it will get sweet. And this kind of fruit will get mature in summer, between May to August. And now we already see some of the fruits of the ficus. So if all these fruits get mature, uh, maybe we could see some of the gibbons. But I think this tree is too low. Because for the gibbons, they would love to uh, find some fruit at the level of 600 to 1,000 meters above the sea. So it takes us at least like one hour or so half an hour to get to the elevation. But for ordinary people, they may not be able to reach to that level of elevation. 
So actually, that's why we have two teams. So let's see what happens for the other team to see whether they are able to trace the black crusty gibbons. Again, here we see many cirrus around the trees. Uh, we have to be very careful to make sure that we are not stopped by the cirrus. Look at that. This is very beautiful. This is a mini pineapple. And for this kind of food, also one of the favorites for the gibbons, they actually like to taste the seed of this kind of fruit. So can we open up? So this is the tree we are talking about. Are we able to get um, some of the fruit? All right, this is one of the favorites of the black crusty gibbons. So we would like to take a look on the fruit. So the seeds are extremely hard. Uh, sometimes we could uh, use some of the seeds to make bracelets. Now we have find out a very long stick, a very long bamboo shoot. And let's see if we are able to get some of the fruits down. Well, you could see there were so many waters coming out from the bamboo. Can we drink this water? It's quite juicy, I think. Take a look. Actually, in the rainforest, you may find abundant water resources. So if you are on the field in the rainforest, if you have nothing in your pockets, you're able to survive because you could find so many food in the rainforest. Now we are trying to get down the fruit. So I believe for the gibbons, they love this kind of food with a sour and sweet taste. I believe they're all foodies because they love this kind of delicious food. It just looks like banana. I'm not sure whether these fruits are mature or not. So how can you tell the difference of this fruit? So if these fruits are mature and then the skin will be very soft. Again, we have to make a cut of this bamboo so that you're able to pick all of those fruits. Right, we're able to reach the fruit. Let's see if we can get some of them. So we are uh, trying to get some of these fruits out. So for this kind of fruit, I, I believe this, from the appearance, it looks pretty much similar to the longer. I think these two are different. It really looks like longan. I'm not sure whether this one is mature. Let's take a look. Well, I can see this is still very juicy. It looks exactly the same with the longan. And also we could taste the meat. But it does not taste good. 
actually we could use the seed to make it into bracelets. So what other usage of this kind of seed? You could use it for to make bracelet. You have to process the seed to smooth out the surface. It looks very bright and beautiful. So if you're able to get this kind of food, so you are able to process into a bracelet. So now we have already found some of the delicious food favored by the gibbons. Maybe we're getting closer to the gibbons. So what other food that the gibbons like? They like fruit from the banyan, so which is the fig. And also they will love to eat meat. For example, they may try to catch some of the birds. So what is this one? This is another kind of um, serious plant. This is a kind of pod bearing plant. So you can see the seed is very large. Take a look at that. The seed is very big. We could also process the seed to make it into chest, to make it into different kinds of artifacts. Does this kind of seed have any medical use? Yes. You could see it is very hard on the surface. There are so many treasures in the rainforest. So especially in the nature, for some of the stuff we have found, we can actually process it and to make it into other usage. There were so many cereals here. And for some of the plants, there may be some thorns. Just be careful. Look at that palm tree. So actually, this is the sugar palm. And you are able to get some of the cocoa nuts. And for the sugar palm, if you get some of the leaves and the fruit, it's very sweet. And for some of these wines, they will love to eat all of those fruits. Uh, people are not able to eat this kind of fruit. They may easily get allergic. And many animals would like to taste the fruit from the sugar palm. Very big in size for the tuber. And also, it is very playful for this kind of tuber. I would like to have a try. I would like to have a try. So first, we get some leaves. So you peel off the skin. And then you find the tuber. Then you do it like this. Shoot. I 
I think this one is not that elastic. Alright, we will continue our tour to trace the black crested gibbons. There was so much fun in the rainforest. It's quite steep for the path. So we are continue to go up. We are about to reach the peak for the mountain. So in the past, we are able to um, see some of the gibbons on the mountain. Let's take a look at the footage. How do you feel? Such a pity, but we're not able to see the black crested gibbon. Unfortunately, we are not able to see the black crested gibbons, but uh, today we are coming into the habitat of the gibbons. Now we could see some restoration of the ecological environment, and also we see an increase of the number for the gibbons. Uh, still, it's quite encouraging. So maybe next time, we are able to find out some of the gibbons. Thank you very much for watching. That comes to the end of the live streaming. Let's take a look at the natural scenery in the rainforest. See you next time.